don't care, but I might back again with you. And uh, the next build we're going to be doing, actually I have two builds. If you can believe it, I'm going to try and do simultaneously. Which I know will never work out. I'll end up just breaking off and doing one until it's finished and then doing the other one. But that's just the way I am. I have, But I have them both here. I have two that I want to get done. And I have two workspaces on the bench. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, now the way I build is I go through my, my kit. You can see everything here is still in plastic. I break all my kits down into separate kits. So I took out everything I wanted. This is one kit for me now. This is the only kit that matters to me now. This is my entire kit. The only kit that I'm working on is my motor. So I have all the motor parts here. I will work on this. This could take me three or four weeks just on this part right here. And I will do everything to this humanly possible that I can do before I even look back at that box full of stuff. And uh, then I will move on and pick out something else out of that box, uh, maybe an interior. And then I will do everything possible to that interior after this is set aside that can be possibly done to that. And that will be my only model kit at that time would be that interior. Put that aside. Then maybe pull out the chassis. That's my only kit at that time. I will do everything that chassis needs to be done. Put that aside. Wheels, tires, that's my kit at the time. That I break everything down that way. And then, you know, body, that's my only kit at the time is body and parts that go with that, maybe firewall hood, uh, whatever goes you know, goes with that, roll pans, such things. Um and then when I'm ready to assemble, everything just goes together. That's how I build. Probably doesn't work for everybody. I think a lot of people like to just jump around, work on this, work on that, or I go through the whole kit and plot everything's gonna be red and painted, or everything's gonna be black and painted. Um, I don't prefer that. I can go from color to color in, in 10 seconds. You know, it doesn't really behoove me to go through and and uh, that's a big word for me, by the way. Uh, it, it doesn't help me to go through and, and uh, do that. I mean, this way I'm only focused on one one thing at a time. And uh, the other kit that I'm doing, I have the very same thing. And you'll see in the next video, I'm going to do a video on that one. The only thing I have out is this one particular kit, which is the motor. I have to start on that. Either the motor or the body is what I'll start on, one or the other. And uh, I kind of like starting the body, but this one I don't have the paint for. I've got an order coming in for paint. I, I order my paint for a year. Uh, I've got like $150 for the paint coming. So that's my year supply of paint. Then I have like 100 bucks worth of uh, photo etch coming. And that will be all my photo etch for the year. I kind of make two big orders, and that will last me for a year. And uh, so I can't really finish either one of these motors until I get my other stuff here. I can't move on to the body on this particular build until the paint gets here. Now the other build I could go ahead and do the body because I have the paint for that already. But uh, I, I can paint the motor on both of these vehicles. But I can't go any further until I get the accessories to go on both of the motors. So, but this particular vehicle here, to shorten this up, is going to be the 74 Custom Pickup Truck. And if you remember, I built one of these on my channel before and had it all done, absolutely beautiful, well, it wasn't completely done, I'm sorry, but had it mostly done, absolutely beautiful truck, and I messed up in the polishing stage and put, I got down to the... Uh, just let me show you exactly what I've done here. I got down to the uh, polishing stage of. Let's grab the wrong one. I was going through at that time. I was using the Tamiya compounds, and I was down to the compound of the white finish, and I have it had laying on my bench, thusly, 
and I had used the three of putty at some point for something. And instead of putting it away, I still had it laying on my bench as well. And I don't know why I left it laying there. So instead, you know, they, they could have been laying in, in any order. I don't know what order they were laying in. So I look over and I see a white cap. I grab a white cap, probably holding it like that, screw this off, square a big old dab on the right square in the center of the hood or the cab. Grab a rag and start buffing. And I don't buff, but just one or two turns and it stiffens. And that's as far as it goes. I pick this up and of course then the, the cussing starts and the slamming and banging the yelling and screaming starts. And it goes all the way through to the bare plastic. Eats the plastic, crumbles the plastic all up. Becomes a big mess. And uh, of course I've used all the paint on the truck. I have no paint left. So I get it all back out smooth, buffed out, uh, feathered out ready to go. I order paint back from the company. Um, the paint comes in the same exact color paint. But when I, when I get the paint in, it is a very, very noticeable different color paint than what was there originally. And uh, so I have just that particular kick I put back, which I still have, got put back in the box and put away. And that could have been, yeah, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago now. I don't know how long it's been. But I like that truck and that, that color combo so well that uh, I want to do it again. And I actually went back to that company to see if they had side the paint. They had the green, but they've quit making the cream color that I used. It was different, different color green, different cream than this. So it looked totally different than this. this vehicle and they still had the, the green which was a Ferrari green and this was a 57 Chevy colonial cream or something like that they quit making that so I couldn't get that so um, I ended up getting me some zero paints which was neither one of those colors that I, I mentioned but they were close and so I have to wait on those to come in so anyway short long story short and went along surprise so a long story longer this is what I'm building. This is going to be my one of my builds. Um, this is going to be what I'm doing uh, for this workbench area. So I will go ahead and show about that one now. But that's that's what we're doing for here. So that'll be workbench A, and uh, I'll show up on that one. And thank you for watching. And I'll be back with another video and show you what we're doing on the other one. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for now. And bye bye.